or Rome to Caesar in Gaul, playing as the Nervii. And this should be episode two of our Nervii campaign. Right, at the end of the very first episode in the campaign, we lost a battle to this army, the Treverii, and I believe it was our king that was leading our army. Our king is right there, king. And now we have to worry about what this army is going to do. We're probably at an end turn. We seem to be on unfavorable terms with most of the factions to our south. And we only have two favorable neighbors, the Marinii and the Atrabates. And not too many people are trading with us. In fact, only two. Now the Treverii do in fact have four enemies, the Swaby, which we haven't discovered yet ourselves, the Nemetes, also undiscovered, and the Vangiones, also undiscovered. So I'm hoping that those other three factions are going to put some pressure on the Treverii, and we're going to wipe them out, or try to. But let's see what they do in the end turn. We have completed some research. Mission issued. Right. We have to defeat the Thunderbolts of Tyrannus. And they're building up a new army in their capital. So they did in fact pull their army back, didn't they? Our public order is looking good. We did recruit some units from here. So that's five units. Let's merge up some of these and combine the armies. Okay, now we can add 15 units. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Some of our units are going to be depleted. Right. Let's send them down. And merge them up. Into a bigger fighting force. And we'll send you back to the settlement. We'll send you over here and drop our king, who hasn't replenished very much. I believe he had eight men at the end of the last turn. Okay, and you can now recruit some new units, can't you? Ooh, guerrilla swordsmen and naked spears. We could definitely do with some cavalry, though. What's it going to take to get some cav in this army? 1900 in coin. E. We also need another unit. How many spear units do we have? This is a depleted one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spear units. Hmm. Probably enough. Quite a few missile units. Let's recruit one more unit. These look pretty good, but 
our money is going down. All right. So we'll have a full stack. They may come and attack us. They have a lot of swordsmen now. So they're going to be fairly offensive, I believe. What has happened? We got something built. A bronze workshop. Can we upgrade that? There it is. The upgrade will give us the fierce swords. And we're hoping to get the ballista and the hunters. But we also need some cavalry, don't we? Alright. Let's end another turn. Yes, they are in fact coming for us. And they combined both forces. Oh, that's over 4,100 men. Hmm. Right, they don't have any cavalry there. Don't have any cavalry there. But they still got about 600 more men than I have. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to pull back. And we probably ended up in the swampy ground, taking some attrition. Nope, we got lucky there. Faction destroyed, Bello Vassi. So, we didn't recruit that unit. Hmm. Let's get rid of those as they're more expensive, as they're mercenaries. Ah, all of those were mercenaries. Let's get our own native troops in here. It's not very good replenishment, is it? For missile units. Okay. What's almost replenished? These levy spearmen. We could trade them over. Four more turns until you're fully replenished. Five for you. We can't wait that long. Just can't. We could try to do some sabotage on the army. And our agent got wounded. Well, that's not good, is it? All right. How's the diplomacy looking? Anyone more friendly towards us? There's a good call, Crosby. Defensive alliance. I'm not going for that. Set aside. I look forward to your wisdom, but I trust you will not object to a cup of tea. Uh, also not going for that. Greetings, friend. I have called for good ale to you. The gods would be displeased. We're just not strong enough that anyone wants to have anything to do with us. Right. The Helvetii, which we didn't know about, has formed a confederation. And we now no longer have line of sight over the enemy. On the bright side, we can now upgrade this to unlock the light horse. They're only going to be useful for chasing down skirmish units, but that's better than nothing. And they have come to attack us again, and they're even stronger now. 
almost 5,500 troops. Wow, they're putting all of their money into recruitment, it looks like. Our agent has recovered. Alright, and our king has ranked up, and our general. Alright, we need to find out what happened to that second army. Where did it go? Ah, over here. Sneaky. Well, go and steal some food from them. Why are they coming up over here? That's 10 units. If they come for our capital, we've got 11 units plus this small force. Alright. Obviously, we're going to get the Night Fighter or Night Commander attribute. And for our general, I'd also like to go for this one, cultural conversion and diplomatic bonus. So that should help out somewhat with our diplomacy. Ah, the Remy are a little friendlier now. Welcome you, uh, speaker. I'm still not going to go for a non-aggression pact. But they're coming around, it looks like. Alright, we're not likely to do anything with them. They're just not very happy with us. Are we now strong enough to take out this force? We may be. We're going to have a battle. Now, we have about 700 more men than they do, but it looks to be about 70-30 in their favour. Wonder why. They have four missile units and a lot of swordsmen. Alright. What's the order resolve looking like? Ah, close victory. If I lose this battle, I'm going to kick myself for not going for this. But let's go ahead and fight them on the actual battlefield. So you all have something to watch. I found the order resolve to be very accurate in Rome 2. But I only normally take it if I'm overwhelmingly in favour of Start deployment. Now, do we have any new units? That's our general, right there. Any units that we can showcase? Last time we had an infantry general, didn't we? Alright. Which one is, in fact, the general? Can we pick him out? Maybe... Not sure if there's a way to distinguish them. I think it'd be somewhere around here. At least we have some... Actual cavalry. Our right. Spears are yours. Spearmen. We hunger for blood and battle! We're attacking them, so we need to get out here. Missile troops. We're going to go with some flaming shot. We'll put our general out here. I think the enemy's general is an infantry unit. We'll put you in the trees over here. Start battle. Get our slingers out front. They have the best range. I believe it's somewhere around about 180. I'm assuming that's meters. 
enemy appears to be redeploying. That's something of a slope up here. We could come forwards, couldn't we? Let's walk them. If we walk them, they should stay hidden. What attributes does our general have? Only the Inspire ability. Melee attack, melee defense, accuracy and reload skill. Still not that bad. Okay, I'll just speed it up somewhat. We probably have missile superiority. Interestingly enough, they're not using this ground to their advantage. Or are they? It's still a bit of a slope. Up here it is. Let's take a look at the enemy forces. Pretty much similar to our own. We'll definitely notice the difference when we start fighting tribes like, well, factions like the Romans. Yeah, the enemy is definitely going to hang back and let us come to them. We should be within range pretty soon, I think. Let's go after their slingers, shall we? Go to regular speed and skirmishers go ahead and run. I wonder how well we could do charging into this unit of our general. Slingers get back. How well did we do? Ah, oh, we did pretty good. Knocked out probably half that unit. We're not really losing anyone, are we? Alright. Let's get stuck in. Can we get a rare charge in? Yeah. Kill, kill, kill. Indeed. Ooh, 
There's their general. Use this unit back here. Missile troops. There's a nice big group of the enemy we should be getting into. General. You don't seem to want to go where I tell you to. Ah, we ran into their general. Yeah, we're not going to do well against the unit of Oathsworn. We seem to be breaking them over here. General, I want you after those. Somebody engage their king. They appear to have broken my right flank. Okay, General, come and help out these units over here. Yeah, the Oathsworn definitely are not going down, are they? Looks like we've used up all the ammunition on that unit. I think we're going to win this one. We're going to get our slingers involved over here. Spears, you can help out over here. That's right.
Alright, we're doing some damage to their general's unit. It's going to be some payback. Let's take a closer look over here. No more enemy units left, I don't believe. Anyone with any ammunition. Should try to help out over here. Let's try to avoid any friendly fire kills. And just skirmish them down. Although they probably have very high armor on this unit. Alright, just halt there. Yeah, those slingers aren't doing great against them, are they? Are you going to fire your javelins? Let's hope. There they go. Who else has missiles? Go all the way back there. Let's get you forwards. So you can use your ammunition. Well, you're yeah, in melee, but you're not taking that many casualties. I'm not sure if the enemy general went into shield wall. They would have better defense, but not so great offense. There you go, take some javelins in the back. And they're wavering. You still have some javelins. Go ahead and throw them. They've broken. Alright, we will continue because I want to kill him off. Go ahead and kill him.
it's always hard to tell where exactly they are and whether you've killed them or not in Rome 2. It's a lot easier to see in some of the other titles. That's it, come over here. You too. And we'll speed it up. Come on, you can kill him. You just have to find him. There's one there. One over there. It's got to be one of these two. That's the standard bearer there. So it must be him. Well, we'll make sure of it. Costly victory, 2300 killed. But we pretty much got the entire enemy army, I believe. And we did, we got them. We're going to take uh, that money. We could take more, but it's going to affect our public order, isn't it? You know what? I think our public order is good enough at the moment. We can handle it. So, the other army is over here in Force March. How quickly can we replenish? How quickly can we replenish? 18, so 7 turns. It's 5 turns. I think we're going to merge up some of these units. Recruit some new ones. So we can push on against the enemy. Alright. Recruit more units. How's our spear force looking? You're very depleted. Three, four, five, six. We have enough missile troops. We need good fighters. It is four, right? Yeah, four units we can get. We'll have space for one more, and if we need it, we'll grab a mercenary unit. Now, how many units do they have? Eight. Okay. And that's where we're going to leave it for this episode. So, next time, we're going to push on to the capital of the Treverii and see if we can take it. So until next time, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you later.